Twilight, can you slow down a bit? <sighs> Sorry, Spike. It's just Pinkie Pie Rarity and Applejack are getting back from their Seaward Shoals boat trip, and I can't wait to hear all about it. It's such a shame Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy had to miss it for their Cloudsdale Fight School reunion. Maybe the rest of us not going was for the best anyway. I know the three of them were really looking forward to getting out of their element. Getting out of their element? I think they all just wanted to try something new. Huh. I guess a boat trip qualifies as that. My only worry is that they'll be so excited they'll talk over each other and I'll miss some of the details. Just to be safe, I may need you to take notes. Uh, right. <laughs> How is the trip? Well, at least you don't have to worry about them talking over each other. Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I don't know what happened on that boat trip. But once Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie have some tea and talk it out, I'm sure every pony will feel better. Come on in, every pony! Gummy opalescence in Winona? This is a surprise. Are Pinkie Pie, Rarity, and Applejack with you? Sorry, darling, but I must decline the invitation to your soiree. While I'm sure it will be positively resplendent, there are certain ponies I'd rather not associate with at the moment. Rarity. Rarity's not coming? Uh, so I polished my scales for nothing. Sorry I can't make it, but I'm still a mite upset about everything that happened on the boat. Applejack. Sorry I can't make the tea party today, but there's a small problem with the guest list. Plus, I'm right in the middle of a very important cupcake. Pinky. Come on, Spike. Since our friends won't come here and tell us what happened, we'll just have to go to them. Right behind you. My mane wasn't made to support marine life. Ruined. Completely ruined. I don't know, Rarity. Maybe you could... Throw it away? Yes, I agree. Just another innocent casualty of that disastrous boat trip. About that, Spike and I were wondering what happened out there. Please, darling. I don't know if I'll ever be able to discuss it. It's far too painful. If it's too difficult to talk about, we completely understand. Well, since you dragged it out of me. It all started at the docks. I knew Applejack and Pinkie Pie wanted to get out of their element, so I thought I would surprise them with an elegant cruise. I had brought a small bag with just a few key essentials. All right, ponies, prepare yourselves for luxury on the high seas. The sea air carries a portent for trouble this day. Tis a treacherous and perilous journey that lies ahead of us. We sail to adventure or our very doom. I have no idea what you just said, but your wardrobe is delightfully seaworthy. Despite Applejack's colorful seafarer attitude, 
I was still determined to get my friends out of their element by providing them with all the refinements of a luxury cruise. I'd made sure to bring all the most delectable nipples for them to enjoy. Ooh, I brought food too! Let's see, I've got cotton candy, taffy, circus peanuts, and lots of other super yummy stuff! Oh, Pinkie Pie, that all looks positively delectable. But you simply must try one of these cucumber sandwiches. Dig in! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get those off me, ship! Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea you had such distaste for cucumbers. Yar, har, 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 hearty, har, har, har. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Applejack. Huh. Well, hold on, because it gets even worse. Pinky tried to lighten the mood with some fun maritime games. It's Pinata Clock! Want to give it a whack, Rarity? Oh, darling, of course. <laughs> I'll be charting a course to the very heart of that maelstrom! the ship toward common waters. This be the only way to plunder coal. Perhaps if I take a quick look see at that map of yours, I could find us a more cruise-friendly captain. There'll be no mutiny aboard me ship. Look at me! I'm the captain, too! Clearly, Pinkie Pie had caught Applejack's same madness. <laughs> Oh, the boat sank, obviously. So, Applejack got some sort of sea madness and caused the boat to capsize? After all the effort I put in to provide her and Piggy with the exact luxury cruise they needed to get out of their elements, that is how Applejack thanked me! So, you were stuck out in the middle of the ocean? How in Equestria did you get back? Spike, darling, you'll have to forgive me. I'm far too emotionally drained to discuss the matter any further. Rarity, I don't suppose there's any chance you might be, uh, exaggerating things just a little? Well, I can assure you that that is exactly what happened. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Pinkie Pie. I'm quite certain her story will be the same. So that's what Rarity said happened on the boat, huh? We thought there was a chance she might have <clears throat> embellished the story just a tad. So we wanted to hear about what happened from you. Did Applejack really capsize the boat? Of course not! That's just silly. There's no way Applejack could have sank the boat. I knew it! That's a relief. Because Rarity did! What? It all started on the docks. I knew Rarity and Applejack wanted to get out of their element, so I figured I'd throw them the funnest, silliest boat party ever. But I guess Rarity had other ideas. I thought I overpacked until I saw Rarity and her team of quarter ponies. Prepare yourselves for a luxury cruise. A day of opulence, decadence, and extravagance. That sounds fun. Ahoy, mateys! Batten down the hatches, y'all, because this here's gonna be a boat ride of adventure! Eh, I can live with that. Huh, they just keep coming. Now, you can't throw a silly boat party without snacks. So I made sure to pack the funnest party food I could find. Rarity, would you care for some cotton candy? It's freshly spun. Oh, Pinkie Pie. Those all look simply... well, simple. But they're obviously unfit for a luxury cruise. Now my 
cucumber sandwiches on the other hook. Try one, and then you'll understand. Ooh, are those chocolate chip? Sorry, cucumber sandwiches are so 10 seconds ago. Wait, wait, wait. That doesn't sound like rarity. Just wait until you hear how much more unlike her she sounds. I thought I'd lighten the mood with some super fun party boat games. But Rarity was a real wet blanket. It's pinata time! <gasps> Wanna give it a whack, Rarity? <laughs> oh, you were serious. Well, that's adorable. I'll give it a go. That's the spirit! Let's get this boat party! <laughs> Whoa, doggy! But it's also extraordinary. Oh, it's extraordinary, all right. But that's exactly what happened. In fact, the only thing I might have gotten wrong was that there was even more porter ponies. But just to be safe, you should talk to Applejack. She'll know exactly how many porter ponies there were. Okay, but if the boat sank, how did you all get rescued? Ah, oh, that's easy. We just. <laughs> that's it. We've got to go talk to Applejack. Good idea. She'll straighten this out. I just really, really want to know how they made it back. But yeah, that'd be great too. Hold on a tick. Pinkie Pie says it's Rarity's fault, and Rarity says I sank the boat? Well, that's plumb crazy. If you two really want to know what happened, I'll tell you. Y'all know how Pinkie Pie and Rarity wanted to get out of their element? Well, I brought a treasure map to give them a rip roaring seafaring adventure. But they had other ideas. La la la! Prepare yourselves for the most luxurious boat outing that ever outed a boat. And more fun than you can shake a stick at. Because I brought a stick. All right, mateys. But just y'all wait till you see the high seas adventure I've got planned. Unfortunately, they seem less interested in a treasure hunting adventure and more interested in snacks. Oh, darling, that food isn't fit for a pony of proper breeding, darling, and refinement, darling. Now my cucumber sandwiches on the other hook. Betcha I can fit them all in my mouth. Uh... Pinky, darling, please. Do you want to say it, or should I? I'll go. That sure doesn't sound like Rarity or Pinkie Pie. Oh, it gets a sight worse than that. It's P.W.T. Pinkie whacking time. Oh, darling. Whacking is a base pastime for common ponies. Doesn't interest me in the least. Yeah. Huh? So, but it's also the only way. 
ride was just about as helpful as a weasel in a hen house. Rarity and Pinky's fault? Yep. And maybe if they ever apologize, I'll consider talking to them again. If they all blame each other, I don't know how we're gonna get them to talk again. Neither do I, Spike. Neither do I. There's gotta be some way to fix this. If Applejack, Pinkie Pie, and Rarity keep not talking to each other, they could forget what good friends they really are. I just don't get it. All of their stories are so different. We're never gonna figure out what really happened. Their stories were different, but they also had a lot in common. I guess. They were all in a ship that sank, and that's about it. Not quite. Only do I think I know how the boat sank. I have a pretty good idea how to get Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie back together. I hope this plan of yours works. <sighs> Winona brought me your note about a friendship emergency. Uh, how can I help? <sighs> Obsolescence delivered your message, Twilight. What's the emergency? It's a good thing it was time for Gummy's bath, or it might not have seen your note about the emergency, Twilight. What's she, she doing, doing here? here? Sorry, but I just didn't know how else to get the three of you here together. And there really is a friendship emergency. Yours. Oh, there's no emergency. I'm just waiting for an apology. An apology? What? Why would you want me to apologize when it was Rarity's fault? What are you talking about? Applejack clearly caused the boat to sink. She stranded us in the middle of the ocean. <sighs> Will somebody please tell me how you made it back? <gasps> well, maybe it wasn't the middle of the ocean. <sighs> Even so, I don't appreciate being hornswoggled into coming back here. On that, at least we agree. Yeah! I know you each have a different perspective on how the boat capsized and blame each other. But if you come on the boat with me, I'll show you what really happened. Well, not that I have any doubts, but it will feel good for every pony to see exactly whose fault it was. I think we all know which pony is about to be proven right. We sure do. Like I said, I sure hope this works. <laughs> Whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it soon. Don't worry, Spike. I've got it all under control. While all of your stories seem very different, they all had something in common. Cucumber sandwiches. What in the hay does that have to do with anything? And why would you waste a perfectly good hors d'oeuvre? You also mentioned the bubbling water. Cucumber just happens to be the favorite food of the trihorned bunyip. And bubbles, followed by a swell, is what happens when they swim up to the shallows from deep water. So, we attracted a trihorn, whatchamacallit? With cucumber sandwiches. Sounds like a stretch. Hello, bunyip, sir. <laughs> Trihorn Bunyip, who's very sorry he accidentally knocked over your boat, right? Wait, the storm had nothing to do with the capsizing? Nope. All right. Even if our friend the Bunyip is responsible for sinking the boat, that still doesn't excuse a certain pony's behavior. Me? How about you and Pinkie Pie? <laughs> what? No, me? No. I think I can explain that too. 
Each one of you spent so much time trying to come up with the perfect way to get the others out of their element that you didn't notice your friends were doing the same thing. Wait a minute. You brought all those games and things for us? Of course! I figured the boat trip was the perfect time to do things that were silly and fun! And I was just trying to give the two of you the elegant cruise I thought you deserved. And I just wanted to give you two a high seas adventure, since that'd be something new and different for y'all. That is so sweet. You must have gone through so much trouble. Well, not half as much trouble as you did making all that fancy food and bringing all those games. I guess this just teaches us that even longtime friends need to work at communication. Well, there's something I'd like to communicate to you all right now. You girls are the best friends a pony could ever have. Oh, let's never fight again. Agreed. You got it. You big softy, bring it in. Come on, budget sir, you got it. One thing's for sure, Spike. There's nothing like a luxurious adventure boat party to get you out of your element. 